Hey guys, Chip here, and today uh, let's talk a little bit about this new cyber deck with hard points enabled that works with KidOps. Uh, it's really kind of an interesting project, and uh, let me tell you a little background about the project. I've got this pretty healthy Discord server. You can see all the stuff's going on, all the products, support all the products in here, and then we have a lot of stuff on stuff like AI, uh, some gravity sketch stuff, this ideation creation area, which is really cool because it's little projects that community members and I work on together, and we do a lot of uh, interesting things um, and share them here. That's kind of fun. But as I'm going through there, I get to know some different people. And one of the gentlemen that I ran into was a guy named Brunia. And Brunia is an interesting guy. He's very talented, a young, a young gentleman who is, is a very talented dancer. And he's also very talented in 3D. And he's started creating some 3D assets, like these are some kid ops. Uh, K packs and inserts, uh, and then he, you know, he jumped into and did some uh, uh, some pretty nice, uh, simple sci-fi stuff and sci-fi pro and sci-fi flex, and just uh, has kept impressing me uh, with his uh, rapid ascension in terms of design. And so I was talking to him. I said, "Let's work on a project together." And I knew this hard points thing with kid ops was coming up, so I wanted to come up with something that we could work on together that would be uh, of interest. And so. I thought, let's do some workstations, you know, and some kind of advanced workstations. So after thinking about that, I said, let's first create a mood board. And so what we did is I created this Google Slides and I said, just go in here and start collecting images from all over the web, right? And just find stuff that you think is interesting and I'll find stuff that I think is interesting. And we're just gonna look at this and we'll talk about it and we can, you know, kind of figure out what we like, what we don't like. And by doing that, you know, we can uh, refine a little bit, you know, a direction, not only a direction, but actually uh, also an understanding between us as we're collaborating together on what it is that, you know, we would like to see get done. And so this is the mood board that he put together. I added a few things as well, but uh, it was quite helpful. And then what we did is I moved into this sketch together uh, app, which I really like because it's real easy to work with. Uh, I've got some videos on that if you haven't seen them. And what I was trying to do is just say, okay, let's talk about just real some basic shapes, try and get some shapes together. And I would give him a reference and ask him to kind of evaluate it and do, you know, and, and come up with what he, he was doing. And then I would do real quick crits and tell him about what, you know, what I thought were the issues. You know, these dooms are too much the same. This is too high. This is probably a better example. So I, you know, I worked with him on that. And then I would uh, go through and have him generate a bunch. And then I would check them off the ones that worked and the ones that didn't work. So these are displays that we're working on here. Once we got displays, I would do a couple keyboards and again, ask him to do some keyboards and check off the ones adding uh, comments. And again, some different, uh, aspect ratio displays. And then we started adding on, you know, adding on the components on the side. And as you can see, he started really getting the hang of this. And most of all this stuff, I did a, the first two, but he did most all the other work. And it really turned out really good. And it was quite a fun project, right? And so we were able to break it out into different, the different parts. And then after, uh, after doing that, I went ahead and I created this video and this video is uh, uh, explaining how to take those drawings, right? So if you go, go through here, you know, we're looking at these drawings, how to take these kind of very rough sketches and let's turn these sketches into, into something that allows us to create an interesting model with them. And as you can see, this is, I'm, I'm kind of moving through this quickly, but this video we'll put in the, we'll put in the docs and you can take a look at it if you want, if you're interested in it. But it basically, you know, walks you through a fairly quick process of generating these kinds of of designs very, very quickly. And once we did that, then I said, okay, let's go ahead. And uh, I, you know, I did one and said, here are the materials. And he just knocked all of them out. That happened a while ago. And it was kind of on hold until we could get kit ops, the hard points edition knocked out. And that was just knocked out recently. And I was able to go back in. And if you haven't seen the hard points video, I'll link to that as well, because that's a really good video for you to take a look at if you want to know more about kit ops and hard points. So let's go ahead and get started and see what all the fuss is and how we can use this new cyber deck k pack to create a wide variety in fact i think there's over 40,000 permutations of workstations so yeah let's get started okay here we are in blender and i've got this cube i'm gonna go ahead and just delete this and let me talk first about these k packs so as you know 
uh, in KitOps, once you've installed it, you basically install your KPAX right here. Okay, so you, in this file pass, and you can see this hard points one is right here. You just yeah, you'll add a new one and you hit the file button. You'll you'll find when you when you look for it, you know, you need to locate the folder. Uh, like for instance, let me show you what I'm talking about. So like here's hard points, right? This is the folder. You'll uh, you'll you'll get the the K packs, unzip them. Here's the hard points folder, and then you go down until you actually get to the images, and you go up one level, and then you see, accept that, and that's going to be your hard points K pack. I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I already have one there. But that's how you do it. Make sure you save your preferences when you're done. And uh, now it'll be the last one here. These two purple, CyberDeck and Sci-Fi GUI. These are the two K-Packs. So let's take a look at one. This is a CyberDeck one. So these are all different images that are used to put on the screen. High detail graphical user interfaces. They come in different aspect ratios that you can use. And then there's this thing called CW Text Generator. This is an interesting insert as it uses geometry nodes and you can use different fonts and different colors and you can do different things with it. And I'll, I'll show you that a little bit later. And one thing I'll mention is this Sci-Fi GUI will be a freebie for all my Patreon members. Many of you already know that I have a $1 per month Patreon that has just a tons of different tons of different things. In fact, you know, I've got 74 posts and on KitOps alone, 94 posts on Blender, uh, different K packs, and, and there's a ton of stuff that I'm giving away here. Almost every post has something that that you know we uh, we give away. This is like 27 lesson EV interior rendering course. This is only for Patreon you know, users. It's huge, huge course. You know, some examples of some of the AI stuff I'm doing. Um, and, you know, and, and these characters also have, you know, created K-Packs of these sci-fi characters. You can get these on there. Like I said, it's only a buck, so I want to make it so it's easy for anyone to get access to. And as I said, that sci-fi gooey K-Pack will be part of that. But the thing you're here for is the Cyberdeck Pack. And this is, all these are different elements that we saw earlier in those wireframes. So let me show you how this breaks out. So first off, you see there's these connectors. So we always start with a connector and there's, this is actually not a connector. This is a, a, a full unit that I'm gonna talk about here in a little bit. I, this won't be part of this deck. I'm gonna remove it and, uh, or maybe I'll, I'll leave it, but I'll rename it. Um, but these one, two, three, four, five connectors, you can start with any of these, right? And a connector is an object that has hard points already associated with it. And hard points are things that you can snap other things to. Think of them like little Lego snapping blocks or places where the things will just join automatically. So let's just grab this connector, for instance. And now with nothing selected, and I say, add the insert, it'll pop it in here, I hit the period on my numpad, and I can kind of zoom up on it and see this is it. And you can see, Right now we're in smart mode, I'll turn regular mode on, but you can see these are these are the uh, hard points, right? So this one snaps the keyboard to, this one snaps the display. So let's go ahead and do a keyboard. So we have all these different keyboards, so I can just grab any keyboard I want. And, you know, we just, you know, we'll, we'll add the insert. But before we do that, a couple things we should know. First off, hard points is only gonna work with KitOps Pro. So if you have KitOps free, it's just not gonna work with it. You can still add these things on, but you're gonna be adding them on pretty much like this. You'd add this insert on here and you'd have to kind of move it around and put it to where you wanted it. It won't snap to anything, right? So, uh, but if you just click on this button down here, which is the hard points snap mode, and then, you know, you don't have to, have, it doesn't matter what's selected in the, in the screen, just add that insert and it'll pop right there. And there you have it. Let's go up and, and find a display. Um, let's maybe take this one, let's add that insert here. And so you can see if I put it on this hard point down here, it's going to look like that and put them here up there. So you can see that, that, that works really fast in getting us something that we might like. So next we have these little side screens, right? So I can take a side screen and it's going to snap to this hard point. So I can add this insert and I can put it here. And while we're adding it, I can roll the middle mouse button up and down if I want just to to adjust the size of this. And I can also hold the Alt key down and I can actually rotate it too. So it'll rotate along that axis, which is kind of uh, kind of nice. So let's tilt this in just a little bit like that. And that's done. And then I just go, let's go ahead and let's put something on the top. So you can see we have, we have one up here too. I'll turn off face orientation so we can see these a little better. And you know, we can just grab a top one and we can add the insert here. Again, scroll this around if I want to. If I want to uh, rotate this above something other than the Z direction, I can basically do that using uh, 
you know, after I drop it down, I can just say arch X and I can move it, you know, down like that if I want to, whatever. So I can get kind of a, a little tilted look in there. And then I've got uh, one other one and that's these, uh, this keyboard for this panel. So I can just add that insert. That'll just snap right in here. And now we have an object, right? And so that's pretty much how easy it is to do that. So let's go ahead uh, now that we have, you know, our, our little workstation created, let's go ahead and we're going to go into our GUI and I'm going to put some, some graphics on some of these displays. So I'll just, uh, actually, let's just do this, this first one right here. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to say place on selected insert, because if I don't do that, I'm going to just, let me show you what's going to happen. If I add the insert here, it's not really working as you can tell. So what I want to do is I want to select here and I want to say place on selected insert. Now I can take this and let's make sure I have the right one. Let's do maybe. Oh, let's do one of these add insert i'll put it in here and i'll just scroll down and get it so that it's kind of close to what i want something like that okay that looks pretty good and as you can see uh if we if we go in here we'll see that if we turn off the lights let's go to scene lights scene world and we'll come into the world and i'm gonna turn that off and let's go on the top and i'm gonna turn off some of these lights here you'll see that you know this is still uh, bright, bright and, and showing, you know, showing what's going on. You can see that we still have, this is a miss of the key, keyboards, a miss. We've got a couple lights in here and LEDs. And so, you know, that's just, you know, how that particular, how that works. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to add a text object on top of this. Here's my text object I want to use right here. And I want to apply it directly on this screen, but I'm going to have an issue. And that is that I cannot apply an insert on top of another insert. There's some good reasons for why we don't want to allow that to happen. And so there's two ways of getting around this. One is I can just remove the kit ops from the object that we're going to apply our insert onto, or the other one is I can check this box. It says place on selected inserts. So we're going to check this box and I'm going to add this insert and I'll just move it to where I want it, click, and then I'm going to scroll up and you can see that we have this text gen material. And this is the shader editor. And you would think that if I go in here and change a color on this, that it would change, right? So you got to change because this is an emissive thing. We have to change it in both places, right? So, so the key here is to make sure you change the emission color right on there. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to add another insert. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. I have another insert. I'm going to put it here, scroll it down, make it a little smaller and put it on there. Now notice that that's a different color, right? But it shows this same one. I need to scroll down and get this one if I want to change that color, right? So if I want to change this color, I need to to go to the text gen 001 because it's using a geometry node editor. And that's the reason why geometry node editor doesn't sync with actual material of the object. So that's the reason why you have to pay attention to that. So we've got two different versions. So now uh, the other thing I can do is I can just come over here and I can say clean duplicate materials. And now it actually puts both of them in the same place and that, that will fix that. Okay, so let's go ahead and edit some text. So this, we'll go over here in our modifiers and we'll just change this to say cyber deck and we'll make the size smaller, something like that. And then we'll select this one and we're gonna just say hard points enabled, something like that. And again, we're gonna scale that down. We'll move that up a little bit. Okay, and we're gonna wanna make these a little different color. So I'm going to come in here and I'll just grab this and let's grab something like that white, bright color. Okay. Control C. I'll just put it in here. And now those are taken care of. Now, one of the things you might want to change the font. So let's just go in here. I'm going to say this cyber deck and I will just go under here and say the geometry node editor. And here we have this and there's no way to actually put this, the font over in this area that I'm aware of. But what I can do is I can come over here and I can delete this and I can say, let's go find a font. Let's say we want to use this uh, Bebus bold or something and say, open that font. And that gets on that one. And we'll go in this one. Let's find a different one. Let's do a, uh, this mic, this wide one. And we'll say, open that font. And so you get the idea. So let's move this down. So it's kind of in a darker area. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to take all of this and convert it all into a single insert in a K-Pack. So, and I'm going to hide, you know, this gaffer, basic scene stuff, leave, leave the inserts on. Let's go back into 
here and turn on scene lights and scene world. We can see everything. And first thing I'm going to say is that because of the fact that I use custom fonts, I'm going to basically go in here and I'm going to apply all these modifiers on these guys because it's important that if someone else uses this, they're going to, it's, this is going to get confused because it doesn't have that font. So let's go ahead and start there. And then I'll hit uh, A and I'm going to remove all of the kid ops props first. You know, probably don't need to do it, but every now and then that gets hung up. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to basically say removed unused wire inserts. Now that's one of the reasons why I removed these kid ops props. I can unuse the wire inserts and gets rid of all the little hard point icons. Okay, so that's done. And then I'm going to say control A and I'm going to say rotation and scale. So I'm going to basically apply the rotation and scale because some of these things, as you can see, if we look at this, you'll see that it's got this, you know, this, this weird rotation and scale. We want all these to be set up correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and say A, control A, rotation and scale. And notice it doesn't mess with just maybe, maybe just this one here. Let's just move this GY just a tiny bit. That works good. And uh, now that's all done. Let's hit A and I want to shift click on this. This makes this the parent. And if I go under object and I say parent object. Now, when I take this and I hit G, it's going to have everything's going to be associated with it. Now it's really pretty simple because what I'm going to do is go into kit ops. You know, I'll go into the, the K pack that I want to save it at, which is going to be this cyber deck one. So I've got this cyber deck and I'll just select this object, just the, the main object and I'll right click and I'll say kit ops and I'll say, oh, actually let's, before I do that, let's just rename this. Let's name this to, uh, let's say uh, work station dash oh one. We'll just rename it. So that way when we save it, it's going to save it as that. Okay. So I go kit ops and say create insert use object ori origin. And what it's going to do now is it's going to actually create a little thumbnail for it and, and store it. And there it is. And so if I go into file new general, you know, come in here, select this and we'll go into here and we'll go grab this guy and say add insert and you know, he'll go you know, anywhere we want. Scale them up and everything. So there we have it. So now you can see this allows us to create a cyber deck workstation very quickly and we can create lots of different versions. And if you create some of these and you're interested in sharing them, please join our discord and uh, share your designs there with us. I'm sure people will be very interested in seeing them. And that's about it. Hopefully this has been helpful. And uh, if you want to get a copy of cyber deck, you can get it over on Blender Market. Have a great day. Thanks for watching and we'll see you online.